Okay, welcome back to the course uh, introduction to Compella. Uh, in this section, we're going to work on refining and decomposing the physical functions and physical exchanges. Um, uh, we're going to focus on this capability of redefining, of refining them and decomposing the physical functions. It's very similar to what we did previously with the logical functions. We're going to decompose them. Uh, it is a process that's kind of hard to do without doing the next step of allocating. So you'll see some degree of allocation happening now. Uh, we'll focus more on detailing the allocation in the, in the next one, in the next section. Uh, we're using functions that were already transitioned. So you can see here we've transitioned and we're focused on the screen flow right here, refining the functions. We will use a PDFB. Uh, it's a physical uh, data flow uh, blank diagram to basically decompose functions when they need to be decomposed. And, and basically the steps of the processes are we're going to approach uh, to perform the test. We're going to open one of the two PABs. Uh, that we modified in the last section. We're going to show the behavior components and we're going to use these to set the goal of allocating all the functions. Now the functions have already been transitioned, so we're just going to put them on one of the PABs, one of, one of the behavior uh, components, and then we're going to look at whether we can move them around to, to all the behavior components that we created. If we can't move them around, we're going to have, by allocating them to them, we're going to have to refine them. And that's where we're going to open up a new uh, a physical data flow blank diagram and basically refine them. Okay, so let's go over to the tool. Okay, now we're in the tool and I'm going to open up the one that has everything kind of already defined into components. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the functions that have been transitioned. Now the easiest way to find the, tr the, the, the functions that have been transitioned is to look for functions that have not been allocated. Uh, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to use this manage function allocation block here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to allocate them to, to some behavior component. Uh, this isn't going to be the final resting place of these functions, but it's where I'm going to put them. And the functions I'm going to focus are on are, are the ones that we transitioned over, the provide location and the send status ones. There may be other ones here. Oh, so let me just, I have to select them individually and then do the single box click to get the ones. So these are the ones that I'm worried about. These other ones were ones that were uh, not allocated from previous sessions uh, uh, and uh, nothing to worry about in this part of the lesson. So now you see all the functions have been basically allocated to one thing called operator app. We know that's not correct, but let's take a look at the functions and see what they are, and we'll see where we could possibly put them. Okay, here's send status. Here's provide location. And here's uh, gather information, gather location, and here's compute location. Now, some of these functions probably have connections to functions that were in the actors. So let's go ahead and we'll add the actor functions to them. Now, the actors functions were already transitioned, but and they already would have been allocated. So let's just go up here to operator and see, sure enough, there's already uh, functions there and look at that it makes connections to the functions that we just added so I'm getting the path of those and then over here here's the GPS I know there's some functions for it so I'm gonna go and put the GPS location there and we got that so we see that we have basically all the connect all the things are kind of connected together here um, And this guy here has one connection. All these connections are used. We can check and see where, where this is connected. Uh, we'll see that it's gather performance information is where it's mapped to. That's where the incoming status is that's coming to it. We can actually use the semantic browser to find out where that gather uh, performance information is coming from. Uh, gather performance information is a physical function. And it does not look like it's allocated to anything either. Uh, I don't see any allocations here. Provide status. Uh, we can even grab that object. And we can navigate to it. 
the easiest way to navigate to that. Go back to it. And we can bring that up into this diagram also. So we just got it added to there. And we'll see where that's connected to. to and looking at that object, you can see that that's been already defined to something called the operator. It's now it's being defined to the operator app. Okay, and then that has an input to it that's coming from send telemetry data. I'll open up that in the semantic browser. Oh, and that's been allocated to photon particle. So that, yeah, that data is coming from this photon particle device here. So it kind of gives me a clue of where I would want to put that if that, uh, the data that's coming into this is coming from the photon bot particle. Okay, so that gives me kind of all the things I want to do. So taking a quick look at this, it looks like this object here is, pro is going to go to there. Uh, send the status is going to then also probably be going to there now and then provide location so what's kind of missing is what's going to be done here with the the send status is going to have to be broken up because it's going to be going from here to there over to the cloud and then essentially from there going to this operator so that guy there that one function is now going to have to be spread across a number of different behaviors so let's go and just kind of help ourselves out a little bit. We're going to take this guy and we're going to drag it over there to make things a little less cluttered. Um, and now we're going to take the send status and we're going to have to decompose it. Okay, now to do this decomposition that we want to do here, that's where we're going to create this new diagram called the, the physical data flow blank diagram. We're going to create that. It's going to be called send status. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down here so we split our screen. And one of the things that I can do to help speed things along is there's actually a property field for this diagram. There's the property field for the diagram itself. And I can set something called a contextual element. And the contextual element I want to set it to is this thing called send status. So I'm searching for it, and there's send status. So yeah, right there. So I'm going to add it. And then look at this magic. I can hit, hit a refresh and blow and behold, all the functions that are related to send status are now placed on the screen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the send status. I'm going to decompose it. So I'm going to send decompose it into all the different sense parts of this that we need. Um, so let me go I'll move the window back down again a little bit so we can see it. So I'm going to need one send status for the Arduino 101. Here, so I'm going to have I'm going to add a new function. And I'll, I'll just for kicks, I can do this 101 send status, and then then there's going to be the base station. Okay, and that's going to Basically, relay. That's going to relay the status here, and which is going to go up to the cloud. Here's the cloud is going to basically be the next thing that gets the status. And then finally, there's going to be the operator, which is going to send the status. It's going to display the status, in other words. So it's not going to send it, it's going to display it for the user. Okay. So then what I do is I take these functions here, and I can hook them onto this, these flows. And I'll, I'll tweak this one.
Well, let's actually let's do this. I'm going to call this. Okay. And then here, I'll And then, so then I'll add in some flows. This is going to be a functional exchange here. So that's kind of the flow. So that that shows how that function has been decomposed. Let's see if any other functions need to be decomposed. So I can just uh, close that one. I've, I've done that decomposition. And then we have compute location. So the computing of the location is going to require this GPS here and this GPS module and the Arduino 101. And then it's going to have to send so this is going to provide the location. So this is gathering location from the chargers, and this is provide the location. So it looks like some of these we can start allocating. Um, so this will be, let's put down in here, compute location, we'll put that onto there. And, and we'll gather the locations of all the chargers. We can do that there. And and then we have this provide location, but we still need to, to do the relay. So let's break this one up. So we're going to do this, and we'll break this one up into two parts. And we'll do the same thing, physical data flow diagram. And we're going to set the context for it. Pretty easy to know, since it's going to be the same name as the diagram. And we refresh it. There it is. And I'm basically just going to do, I'm going to add just that relay. So that one's been decomposed. So that finishes the decomposition. And see here that the, now that this one here has a little decomposed thing on it. And then the next phase, we'll just finish up the uh, uh, the allocation of uh, of the content to all these functions, and we'll get rid of these hierarchies. Okay. So thank you very much for this section. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.